get some coffee some to see coffee. if we can wake up. Yeah, we need desperately a coffee, but look at this. This is a beautiful morning in Plaza Castilla. Probably around early morning for us. <laughs> around like nine ish? <laughs> yeah, we went to bed quite late last night. And uh, we're walking to the streets of Pamplona where they run the bulls. Look at these streets, man. Look at this. Uh, this place fills up with a million people during the San Fermines. This is where most of the bulls, when they when they're run through the street, they tend to fly. You see those videos of the bulls going into a corner and trying to turn, and they slide into people and into the Right here, where a lot of people get run over. Bulls right here. Bulls! Look how tiny these streets are. And it's packed with people. I mean, that's what amazes me. When you see the videos uh, on the TV, it looks like uh, the streets are a lot bigger because there is so much, the concentration of people is huge, you know? You can walk. When those bulls get released, man, it will be pandemonium. The San Fermini's tradition is so strong that they actually have a clock that shows how many days, how many hours, how many minutes, and how many seconds to the next San Fermini's. Well, this is a copper monument to San Fermin. It's stunning. It's just scary and beautiful at the same time. It's a life-size uh, uh, representation of the bulls and the people. So you can see the size of this animal. I definitely wouldn't like to be this guy right here. If you look at him, he's scared, very scared, because he knows his time has come. Look at the face of the bull. The bull's looking at him with that face of, I got you, you're mine. Run, Forrest, run. This is it, Pamplona, and we're leaving right now. It's a beautiful, sunny morning in the province of Navarra. The mission today is San Sebastián. That's in the Costa Cantabrica, on the other side of the peninsula, north, north side. That's the mission today. It's around um, 80 to 85 miles, so it should be a, a short ride. Now it's uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. We're feeling a little tired. We're fairly close to San Sebastian. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find some trees somewhere on the road so we can hang our hammocks and just take a little nap before we get to San Sebastian.
San Sebastián, finally we made it. Last stop will be Bilbao, which will be tomorrow, and we'll do the Cantabrica... Coast Road. The Coast Road, exactly. And uh, right now, the, the entrance of uh, San Sebastián is absolutely gorgeous. The buildings, the architecture, the really bucolic, very busy city. Very, very beautiful. I've seen a lot of pictures, uh, videos of San Sebastián. Every place that I'm gonna visit, I like to do some research. And I knew it was gonna be somewhat like this, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm actually impressed of how much bigger and really nice it is. It's just a really cool city. Here we are in Donostia and I'm feeling really hammered right now. We parted all night and now our destination is Bilbao through the Costa Cantabrica road, right? <laughs> Good morning, adventure guys. We are in San Sebastián, uh, also known as Donostia in the Vasca language. We came yesterday at the very end of the day. It was a beautiful, beautiful road to get here. The view from the mountain as you're descending into the city, it was just breathtaking. We got here a little late. Uh, it was probably about an hour before sundown. So we went to the hotel, checked in, took a shower, got dressed. And after that, we uh, we left to look for something to eat and, uh, and a few drinks and that turned out into a your bar hopping adventure it was awesome we met a lot of locals and you know and tourists as well and today is really our last day so uh, on the motorcycles we are returning them uh, this afternoon around six o'clock we have to be at the rental place uh, in Bilbao which uh, you know I'm kind of sad big time as a matter of fact because it's been so much fun I could use another week of this but we still have a nice road ahead of us we're gonna take the uh, Costa Cantabrica which is uh, basically a coastal uh, road that, that borders the Cantabric all the way to Bilbao. I really wanted to walk the city today. Unfortunately, we partied so heavily last night that I uh, didn't wake up until 10 o'clock this morning. Since we have to be at Bilbao at 6 o'clock and we really want to take our time through this uh, Costa Cantabrica road, we decided that we were going to keep it uh, short today. But definitely a city I want to come back to. The city is just magnificent. There is a Casco Antiguo, or the old part of the city of San Sebastián, the oldest part of the city of San Sebastián. I don't know if it's the oldest, but they call it the Casco Antiguo. And it's really cool. This is where we spent last night partying. You can see the ocean right here. This is one of the roads that uh, border the city. And this is actually the ocean. The bay is, uh, is ahead. The bay is actually uh, divided by this uh, big mountain rock right here. That's why it's called La Concha, because it's very protected. Uh, the inlet is narrow, it's mountains on both sides. So that over there is the other side of the bay, the Con La Concha. And uh, we're actually facing the inlet. And look how beautiful this is. Look at the color of that water. last night walking around the Paseo de la Concha. day i don't want to return this bike i want to keep it can i keep it please sir this bike and i have developed a really strong bond neither i want to return it and the bike doesn't want to be returned how about you let me take care of it i'll pay for all its expenses maintenance i give her a good home a lot of love 
Well, I guess my other bike is gonna get jealous. The motorcycle is a very different piece of machinery than anything else I've ever owned. You know, I know it sounds horny and silly, but you kind of fall in love with your bike. When it's a bike that you enjoy riding, of course. Look at these roads, man. This is insane. This is why I ride these kind of roads. Look at this, look at this. What a privilege for people who live around here. They have, I'm in love with Spain. I have Spanish roots. And the more you travel within Spain, the more you fall in love with it, the more you fall in love with the scenery, with the people, with the culture, and definitely with the food. The food is out of this world. about 90 kilometers from Bilbao if we continue going on this uh, coastal route. As you can see, it's just breathtaking. Look at this. The cliffs, the ocean, every turn, every corner is a new adventure. in the Basque country that is the historical site of a very sad event. Back in 1937, the Nazis dropped a lot of bombs in this town in an effort to help Franco during the Civil War. So it's known as the Nazi experiment. They basically experimented with all the bombs they had and very much leveled the town killing, if memory serves me well, I think it was some, something like 13, 1400 people. We are in the Basque country, in the town of Guernica, which is very famous for Picasso's painting named Guernica, just like the town. Back in 1937, the Nazis bombed the entire town. It was the first major bombing. They killed pretty much innocent, you know, civilians. They were trying to help uh, Franco in his effort to fight the rebels during the uh, Spanish Civil War. So it has a really sad history. The town obviously has recovered. That's the old church right there. It dates uh, to the 15th or 14th century. It's good to stop at these places and remind ourselves, you know, the atrocities and horrible events that war can create, unfortunately. We made it to Bilbao. End of the line for this trip. We're in a rush because we gotta return the bikes um, before 6 p.m. Right now it's a quarter past five. I think we have more than enough time to get there. But still, we gotta assume we might get lost in the way, but we have 45 minutes to do so. Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think on the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos!